Um, now we're in another uh, Apollinaire. We get to see this one, right? But yeah, we one, might get to see this. We get to see one or the other. One or the other, and I don't know which one. And it because it's we're not gonna have a lot of time, so I don't know if we're gonna be able to go to both of them or not. It depends. I think how this is on our way to Florence. So if we want to see a little bit of other time out, we can. Um, the symbolism in this one, and we're gonna go through this one real quick. Um, I just want you to show. It's the same concepts, same things is happening. It's just another example, and we are going to be able to go in one or the other of these churches. Um, again, I wanted you to see some of the symbolism that is happening in here. He raises his hand <coughs> up uh, as Polinaris, and um, he's in the position of prayer. Again, there's 12 sheep. Do they mean 12 apostles, which we talked about? Could be the 12 tribes of Israel. Um, or the parishioners and the church but it's the bishop and the symbolic leader of the flock. So it could have many me meanings to it. The thing that I want you guys to see if we go into this church, there's a hand. I never noticed that before. It's a hand. It's a hand that God comes down from the clouds to bless the scene. So we'll have to look for the little hand of God up there. We have Moses and Elijah, which is flanking the cross. The flatness of the forms moving away from classical and naturalistic depiction. Again, it's very, very flat. They do have some labeling that's going on, it's kind of all nice for us too. Again, um, here's a close up of it. Here's a real close up of it. You can see Christ's image is actually on the inside of the cross. Um, I, it's, it's just a, to me, it looks like folk art. Um, what is, which comes back, I don't know what century that comes back in, but look at all the sheep, the detail that they have. Um, it is quite amazing. Look at the little trees. It's just kind of, just spooky. Again, Seventeen. <coughs> Eastern half was the Roman Empire, a thousand years beyond the fall of Rome. Constantinople is the center, one of the most impressive cities in history. Lavish works of art, shimmering gold mosaics, heavenly world, and opulence. Um, icons thought to have spiritual power, invented the pendentive and the switch. Death of the Byzantine Empire in 1453, but Byzantine art continues in Russia, Eastern Europe, and Greece. So it continues on. And you can, there's beautiful examples in Greece also. Did you just think I was going to get to that whole package? No. That's next Wednesday and Thursday.